Hi guys, Comrie Boy here. Um, today we're going to make uh, turn an apple out of apple. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get the glue gun heated up and I'm going to hot glue this piece of apple onto a waste block I've turned and remember when you do that make sure that there's a bit of a concave profile to that so that you get a really good strong okay so the hot glue is nice and hot now so give a liberal amount central as you can and then what I like to do is to bring the tail stock up just to give a bit of extra support okay and don't forget to run a nice bead around the edge let it run in there and then that will make a really nice solid joint Okay, now the next thing to do is to rough this rough this down to do with a spindle roughing gouge. And if you've got a piece of wood which is really not cylindrical with regards to its um, format, then just make sure that it's clear of the tool rest. So what I do now is to drill a hole here, um, only to about half an inch or so, and that will take the stalk when I finally, finally cut it. And it also then allows me to uh, curve into there to give a natural sort of look to the, to the curve into the stalk. Okay, so what I do now is bring up the... Um, the tail stock and put the drill bit in bring that up and just
And one thing a little tip is when you're doing this sort of sanding, when you've got a, a sort of a profile, if you like, um, I use a little bit of um, sponge and just wrap the various, normally on the higher grits, around that, and then that gives you a nice surface, stays to the surface, you can mould it to the shape you want. Now we'll just brush off <coughs> the excess and give it a coat of um, sanding sealer. Right, give it a nice, nice coat of sanding sealer, liberally applied. And then Okay, we'll wait for that to dry. Okay, so we're going to sand now. Just Just take off the sanding sealer, nice and lightly. Leaves it nice and smooth. And now we just get some friction polish. and shiny, nice glow to it. Now what I'll do is part him off. Just leaves the little nub at the bottom, which I'll just take off with a chisel and then a palm sander, and then just coat the bottom there. So that'll be done, and then that'll mean then that we <coughs> all we have to do is to um, 
put the little stalk in and we have an apple okay what, what I've done now I've mounted my uh, drill chuck <coughs> into the headstock into the jaws um, I've got the small gripper jaws and luckily they f that fits in there nicely and then I've merely put my bowl sand in attachment on the end with some um, 120 grit uh, because this is the bit of ebony which I'm going to sand down now uh, to a shape and then that will go into the apple when I finished it. Hi guys, uh, just thought I'd show you there's the apple. Um, I'm not very pleased with the actual um, markings on it to be honest with you. The, the grain is not that pleasant. But um, it was just really to show the way that, that I actually do me apples and my fruit. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.